With the joy of the Lord in my heart, I want to welcome you to the month of May. It is the month that the Lord has made and packaged a lot of goodies to bless you and to make you a blessing. Briefly, I would like us to read from the book of John chapter 5. We are going to be reading just three verses from verse 5 to 8. A certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. Verses. When he saw, Jesus saw him lie, he knew he had been now a long time in that case. And he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? And the impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another stepped down before me. Verse 8. Jesus said unto him, Arise, take up thy bed. Verse 8 again for emphasis. Jesus said, Arise, take up thy bed and walk. I want to speak to your life this month that as you go, take up your bed and walk. It doesn't matter those expectations that has not been met in the month of January, expectation that has not been delivered in the month of February, an expectation that has not been delivered in the month of March, expectation that has not been delivered in the month of April. This month of May, God is handing them into your hands. You can see the expectations of that man. He said, I have nobody to put me into the pool. Paraventure, you may be in the same situation. Paraventure, you have been in a situation where nobody to put you into the pool. You have good ideas, but no finance. You have good opportunities, but nobody to assist. As you go into this month of May, I decree unto you that men will come to your rescue. Help that you need for a fulfillment will locate you in the name of Jesus. By the power and authority in the name of Jesus, help will locate you. You can see there's nobody to help that man. And that has made him to stay longer than expected. The scripture told us, he said he has been there for 38 years. 38 good years. He has been at a point. I don't know what has hold you down. Your own 38 years may be 38 months. Your own 38 years may not be actual 38 years in the, in the recent, but delayed expectation. But as you step into this month, things will begin to work to your advantage. In the name of Jesus, men will come to your rescue. Situation will favor you. In the name of Jesus, every door that seems locked before now, as you step into this month, the hand of the Lord will be upon you and those doors will be wide open. In the name of Jesus, at your returning, it will not just be with a testimony, but it will be with a major testimony. In the name of Jesus, to everyone that has looked down on you, they will look up to you again. And at your returning, it will be with a major testimony. But let me end with this. And as much as God is interested in you, and God is ready to help you, it's important that you come to Jesus, to as many that we are yet to accept Him as our Lord and Savior, to as many that are yet to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. I want you to take that decision now. It's a decision that once you make it, you will never regret. And I want you to repeat this word after me. If you want to give your life to Jesus, Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life today. Rule in my affair and be Lord over my life in Jesus' name. If you have just said that from the depth of your heart, I can assure you that Jesus will come into you and help you. And your life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you. See you next month. Thank you.